Hey yo, what's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the Chicago Fire Career episode number 5. And so far early here in season 1, things remain pretty competitive. Only 2 points separate the top 3 teams in the East. We've already lost to New York once this season, pretty convincingly at Red Bull Arena as well. And we'll play Philadelphia coming up here very quickly today. So we'll see where things stand at the top of the East. In the West, same thing, only two points separate, or only one point separates the top three teams. So everything is pretty clustered early on. But one thing that has not been competitive so far is Orlando. They sit bottom of not only the East, but of the entire league. They've only picked up eight points so far this season. So we'll start today with a simulation. And I'm actually gonna try one thing. I'm gonna play Schweiny in midfield for this. I'm gonna give Dax a little bit of a rest. So we'll see how that goes for us. We hang on to win this one, just about, but at least we got the win. So it is all popping off right now in the Eastern Conference. New York Rebels lost their last match to Philadelphia, which moves Philadelphia to the top spot. We leapfrog New York Red Bulls as well. So we sit in second place as we head north from Orlando up to Philly to take on the Philadelphia Union with the top spot in the Eastern Conference up for grabs. So not only are Philadelphia, New York, and ourselves the top three teams in the East and actually in the league overall, we're also the top three scoring teams in the league. So we could be set for some fireworks here at Tower and... Ta Ta that is a hard name to say. Talon... En Talon Energy Stadium. Are you, really? Just not gonna... Really? It's another one of those goals where I just can't switch players. The ball's bouncing right at one of my defenders. Just won't let me switch to go get it. And instead, Phil what in the hell is Santos doing? Okay, wow, that's 2 nothing. Santos scores again, and we're going to get to see the dance again. Okay. I'd really like it if somebody could just break that dude's legs. Well... That goal not only puts us down to nothing, but it also levels Sergio Santos with Gaetan and Nikolic for the league leading goals, which is also kind of frustrating. But Nikolic lines one up. Oh, I thought he got that one. Come on, let's go. Let's move this thing. Let's play that up the wing for Frankowski. Let's use that speed. Go on, Frankowski. Cutting it. Oh, that's a great move by Frankowski. Can he get this pass away? He does, but the shot is blocked as literally... I think our best movement of the game, and 60 minutes in, we're down to nothing. It just hasn't been enough from us today. Oh my god, the, the ball movement from Philly on this play. Oh, come. He does a beautiful pirouetting 180 and bangs it home. What a shot by David Akam against his former team. 3-0. That, that is an incredible finish. All right. We have been thoroughly thoroughly dominated by Philadelphia in this game like it hasn't even been close here we go Frankowski we just we cannot get a ball through that Philadelphia defense we cannot do it are you serious oh my god the smallest mistake the smallest mistake and I believe that was Fabian it was Holy crap, this Philadelphia team is freaking lethal. That is the final whistle. 4 nothing. So, the top two teams in the East right now would be Philadelphia at number one. They just beat us and New York Red Bulls back-to-back. -back. And then New York Red Bulls, and we've lost in convincing fashion to both of them this season. It, it really, that has me very, very worried. So we come back home now to play the worst team in the Western Conference, and that would be the Fighting Wandos of San Jose. We're going to have to rotate the team, though. This is our third game in seven days. And uh, Campos is getting a start. I don't think he's played so far this season, but we, we like I said, we have to rotate the team at least a little bit. That's a good start from Katai. And another 2-1 victory via simulation, but we picked up an injury to our captain, Dax McCarty. So we will be without Dax for a couple of weeks. He's out with a, a minor muscle injury, but it's not worst case scenario as it does give Mo Adams a little bit more time on the pitch. So we'll make do with that. But we move on now to play New England who are way down in the Eastern Conference. I think only Orlando is below them right now. So 
they're having a rough go of it. And these are the kinds of games at home that we really need to be winning if we're going to solidify ourselves as a playoff contender this season. Come on. Oh, Reynolds gets beat. What? A ball? Boonberry, first time? Are you? If we would have conceded there, I could just end the series. Here we go. Good ball over here for Edwards. Beautiful touch by Raheem Edwards. Come on, Edwards. Storming forward, Raheem. Oh, a good pullback in there for Frank Kowski, who wasn't looking. He literally was looking in the wrong direction. What was he doing? Oh, Reynolds is the wrong side. He's having a rough one early on. Edwards, no, that was so close to being 1-0. And now it is 1-0. I will take full responsibility for that. I just did not see that dude. Didn't see him. We go ball through here. Beautiful first time pass through to Mihailovic, who shoots and scores. The youngsters on the board, and we've equalized with New England. We've really flipped the switch. That goal seemed to have woken us up. Thank God, because we've been kind of sleepwalking through the entire first game against Philadelphia, and then through the first part of this one. It's our first goal that we've scored today. Good ball there. Nikolic. Oh! <laughs> What an interception! Are you serious? The reactions of these defenders today. Philadelphia was like that all game. They did not allow a single ball through. And now New England's starting to do it too, where they just... It's inhuman reaction times. Corner here for New England. Ten minutes left. Let's not be going and giving up a goal, because we can't mark corners. Oh my god, it's one Agadello off the bench. It's just... So frustrating. There's the final whistle. Another loss for us. Things are really starting to collapse right now. I, I don't even really know what's going on. I, I don't have an answer for it. So we go on the road now to play Colorado. They're like seventh, I think, in the West. They've actually been in good form recently. They've pulled themselves off the bottom of the Western Conference to move about halfway up now. And we really could use a win here. Um, I don't really know what to tell the team on how to do that other than just don't play like shit. The players that we really, really need to step up in this game are Nikolic and Gaetan. Between them, in four games today, they have one goal. Nikolic has scored one goal. Gaitan hasn't done shit. I need them to lead this offense. Otherwise, we're just going to look at another embarrassing loss. Yes, Gaitan. Play it for Frankowski. There we go. In behind. Frankowski put a ball in for Nikolic. What? A cross. And what a finish by Nemanja Nikolic. That's what I'm looking for. That's the kind of play I needed from the Manu Nikolic, and what a play by Frankowski as well. Oh my goodness. Good offensive buildup and finishes have been few and far between today. God, we needed that one. Reynolds playing for Frankowski. Laser for Gaitan. Gaitan for Nikolic. For Mihailovic. Oh, was he onside? He was not. Katai missed the shot anyway. Unfortunate, but. It's getting better. I, I, I don't know where this went. We had this beautifully last episode, and we've completely lost it today. How does the CPU just know how to play offense all of a sudden? Oh, that's going to be a goal. What a save by Ousted. And he crosses into the box to K. Kamara. It's, it's problems. We don't have anyone big enough to mark him. Oh, Katai. What a move by Katai. Come on, Katai. Play it in there. Nicely done. Nikolic doesn't really have anywhere to go. It's back to Adams. I thought he might have enough top spin on it to loop it over Tim Howard. Didn't quite get it there, though. But that was okay. We actually did well in the first half. And we actually have a lead at halftime. Here we go. Frankowski turns the corner. Frankowski. Beautiful play. Oh, Frankowski. I don't know who's been better. Frankowski or Nemanja Nikolic in this game. But Nikolic, I think, returns the favor there. He gets the assist. This time, Frankowski gets the goal. And it's a 2-0 lead with 30 minutes left to play. Breathing room. So that's what that feels like. Oh, God. Kamara. He's seriously been a mouth. Oh, no. Kamara. Are you kidding me? Literally instantly after we scored... 
Hey, Kamara hits a 30-yard freaking screamer, Top Bings. And it's 2-1. Well, that that was that breathing room. That was very very short lived. Just, just block him off, Marcelo. E oh, well, we had it. Oh, Marcelo, I don't know. I don't know how that worked. No idea how that actually just worked. And Marcelo's gonna go for Frankowski. Not a bad idea. It's not ever the wrong idea to go for Frankowski. He's gonna pull back. Oh, beautiful play, Nikolic. Oh, it's just wide. My cheeks were clenched on that one. How would he miss? No, no, Ousted. Big save, Ousted. Come on, boys. Please hang on to this thing. There's five, there's four minutes left. Get there. Oh, Schwein, he doesn't have to put Kamara off, I think. Or maybe he actually won that ball. I'm not even really sure. That's a deflected cross. We go back out wide for Kamara. That's actually, oh, Jesus. They're back healing and they're doing all sorts of tricks. Nobody has Kamara. That's the equalizer. We were so close. So close. But they just started pinging the ball around Barcelona style. And we couldn't get near it. And then they just crossed it. All they have to do is cross it. Because it's impossible to stop crosses. It is physically impossible to stop crosses. All they had to do is open up a little bit of space. And just flick the ball in there. And they were going to score. There's the final whistle. 2-2 two, two draw. On the road. In Colorado. I mean, it's not it's not the worst result. But when you have a lead and then you lose it with less than two minutes left, might as well be a defeat. So it would appear that we're in a little bit of a rut right now. And what do you not need when you're in a rut in this league? A trip to CenturyLink Field. But we've got it. Thankfully, we also have Dax McCarty back from his injury. So he's back in the midfield. Mo Adams is just... He's completely useless right now. He needs more training, needs to grow a lot before he actually has a starting spot on this team. And Hassler, being back from injury, I'm going to give him a run out there at right back as well. So, a couple of small changes. Let's see if we can finally get a win today. And to make matters even worse for us, uh, Seattle happens to be the best defensive team in the league this year. They've only conceded 13 goals in, I think, 15 or 16 games. That is an absurd defensive record. Come on, boys. Counterattack. Guy 10. On it. Guy. That was somehow an amazing... I, I don't even... Fry saves that shot. I don't even know how that ball ended up over there to Frankowski. That ball was poor. And then we just... What? Frank... It goes through his legs and they're able to clear it. Really? Hassler up the swing has been probably the best player so far. He's trying to get that. Oh my god, how in the hell did Nikolic get Am I even controlling him? Was that that felt like a timed finish, which I did not do. And I don't know how Nikolic just burst through between Marshall and Kim Kihi right there. None of what just happened made sense, but I will damn sure take it. It's 1-0 at CenturyLink. Ooh, that's a good ball. That's an amazing ball to turn offense or defense into offense that quickly. Gaitan back in there for Nikolic. That's what we're looking for. I guess the one saving grace of this whole situation is that I'm usually good against Seattle. And it's showing through here. 2-0 inside of 30 minutes. Finally, we I feel like we're back. I feel like now we're actually playing well. Hassler, good lord, he's been good. Beautiful ball in. Let's go in the middle. Nicely done. One more. Oh, that's so good. No. So close, Mihailovic. He gets the, in such good spots, but can't get the ball out of his feet. He takes one too many touches every time. Dax for Gaitan. Nice overlap by Mihailovic. Mihailovic shoots. He's so god-awful at shooting. <laughs> I didn't want to pull the trigger there, but he was so wide open that you kind of need to take that shot. We really need someone coming out of the midfield that can make teams pay for backing off. And we just don't have that right now. Ping this thing long for Christian Martinez. Who does get on the end of it. And is able to come away with it. There's just a wide open player in here. Bronico laying it back for Adams. Not good enough. How? How did, how did we not score from that? For real, though, I, how how in the world did we not score? I'm so very, very confused. 
It was a tap in, and somehow the defender. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We get the win. We get a clean sheet, which I can't even remember the last time we were able to do that. Oh, we finally get a win in this episode. Thank God. So as we wrap up the episode today, we still sit in second place. I don't even, I honestly have no idea how good or bad we really are. We do score goals, usually. Um, the 37 goals that we have scored, it's a bit inflated because of that 8 nothing shellacking of LA Galaxy. We probably should be on around 30 or 31, which puts us right in the mix with Philadelphia and New York Red Bulls. But we've conceded 26, which is the second worst in the league. Only Orlando have conceded more goals than us, and they're only on 27. So, our defense is disgraceful. We cannot stop teams. Like, it is horrific. It's the worst defensive team I've ever had. It is very, very difficult to defend with these guys. But, we're into the month of June now. We're quickly approaching the summer transfer window, and help will be on the way. I'm thinking maybe we get a goalkeeper. I'm still not sure if we get a goalkeeper now or wait till the draft, but definitely at least one big, strong, actual center back that can defend and, and win headers. That, we need that. We desperately need that. We don't have it. So we definitely have to get one of those come the summer transfer window. And again, maybe a goalkeeper as well. So that is where we'll end it for today. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you when we come back for some more Chicago Fire career. See ya.